Hi YouTube, it's Bethany from Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. In this video, I am going to be reviewing a new product. I've never used it before, and I'm curious if it works up to the hype that I've seen online. So I got this product at my local advanced auto parts store. Uh, it was gonna come faster than Amazon, believe it or not, so I went down the street and picked it up there. It's called Flitz. Has anybody used this in the furniture restoration field, work, business? I would love to know. So it's an anti-tarnish formula. They say it lasts up to six months, that it works fast. And then what you do is you put a little bit of it on your Dremel with like a polish pad and you can, I guess, clean up hardware, brass hardware and make it just shine. So I'm really excited to see if this works or not. And if it does, holy buckets, this is gonna like change the way I probably clean hardware on all the furniture projects that I refinish. So I'm pretty excited. We're gonna go to the other side of my workshop. We're gonna get my Dremel uh, hooked up. We're gonna get this on there and we're gonna go polish some hardware. Let's see if it's worth the hype. Let's go. Okay, before we get started on this fun tutorial, do you guys know you can find me all over social media? That's right, I'm all over. So if you wanna go see some fun before and after photos and basically a portfolio of my work, you can find me on Instagram and that's here at bethany.joy.luke. I recently changed my last name, so you can find me there. You can also find me on Facebook. I have a business page there, and that's at Madeline Jean Antiques and Restoration. Not only you, can you find uh, before and after photos there, you're gonna find funny reels that I create, and you can also find a shop section where I list everything that I have for sale, like this beautiful antique buffet behind me. So please go follow me on those social media platforms. Um, and if you're new here on YouTube, welcome, poke around. Um, I share all tips and tricks and before and afters of me transforming old and vintage furniture. And it's a resource of information for people who are new to doing this, whether you're just starting out dabbling, doing a project here or there on the weekends, or if you're new to flipping furniture, welcome. Like I said, follow me. Um, I also need to tell you, you need to click on the bell. I always forget to tell people to do that. So click on the bell up there by my channel. That way you're going to get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you've been following me already, thank you so much. Welcome. And let's see if this Flitz product is all it's cracked up to be. I'm so excited. Now let's go. All right, everyone, these are the products that you'll need to start to polish your hardware if you chose to do so and if we find that this product is awesome. So this is the Flitz Polishing Cream. Um, I ordered a specific Dremel cleaning polishing kit off Amazon. I will list that link below the video description. I believe I got this kit for no more than $14 and it has a lot of pieces in it. And there's my Dremel. Mine is the Dremel 200. It's just a basic Dremel. And I was going to start polishing with this thing. Look at this. No way. I knew well enough. I'm like, that is going to really do damage on the brass hardware. So that's why these soft polishing pads are going to be much better to polish this brass hardware. So I'm gonna get this all hooked up and let's okay, do it. Okay, I have my Dremel set up. I'm first gonna use, I noticed the polishing kit had these larger discs. I'm gonna use the smaller one just to start out. And the Dremel polishing kit does come with some polishing compound. It's very small and it's red in color. And from when I was re researching the polishing kits for Dremels, people were saying um, the red compound in here does work well, but a couple people mentioned this stuff and said, if you really wanna polish up hardware, this is, I guess, the Mac Daddy stuff. So I'm going to get this old carpenter's tool chest up on its side. That way you guys can see the hardware and what I'm working with and why I'm going this route. So. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, got 
Got her up, got her up. Ooh. All right, this is good. That's a good position. All right, now I'm gonna show you the hardware. Okay, as you guys can see on this chest, I already polished up these corner, I'm gonna call them brackets, of brass. Um, I already took Barkeeper's Friend, scrubbed them with a wire brush, and you can see, you know, they got pretty clean, but I think I can get them a tad shinier if I use this Flitz stuff. So, let's see if we can get these even shinier than what I have going on here. All right. Okay. So you guys, this looks, the stuff is purple. Honestly, I'm, again, never use this product, so <laughs> this will be interesting. Um, another person I saw that, that did this, they said, don't put your Dremel on the highest setting. Um, put it on the lowest, so I'm going to take that advice. And I'm gonna put mine on low here, here we go. Whoop, that went to high real quick. I should have gotten a rag. Hold on. Hold on, paper towel. And I should probably put a glove on. Ooh, that's, ooh, 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 that's getting clean. Look how black my, uh, my little polishing pad here got. Yeah, that's dirty. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Back on low. Boy, that is disgusting. If all that black stuff is like grime. Oh my goodness. You guys like, once I like really rub here. Holy shnikes, that's getting clean. Wow. Okay, this stuff works. I'm pretty excited. I just have to figure out a way how to, you know, just buff it the best. Um, I'm using a paper towel. I should probably get a rag, probably would work better. And then I have to find a way, I could tell some of that dirt right there is getting around those small screws. Wow, that really did brighten up. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. I hope you can see that from there. Let's take a look. Okay, here's the first one I cleaned compared to the one I just used, Barkeeper's Friend. What I'm also liking too, you guys, it's buffing out. Do you see? I had a lot of like brush marks from my wire brush. I can see them in all the other brass plates. And what I'm liking is it's taking those out. So a couple things that I need to learn. I'm noticing a lot of my product is being spit out when I turn the Dremel on. So maybe I should put some of the polish just directly on to these brass plates and just go from there. That might be a better method. And then I need to figure out if you've noticed some of the dirt is getting caught up right around these screws. So I'll need to figure out a way to get that out of there, clean that up. But holy smokes, you guys. Yeah, this stuff works. Flitz, you're awesome. All right, I'm gonna keep going and do this whole side.
Okay, I have one whole side done yet. I've got three more to go, so there's a lot of work to do here, but check out these results. This stuff is pretty impressive. Look how much I got that brass to shine up. I am blown away. And I even did all the little screws. So my vision for this piece, I'm going to be painting meticulously and <laughs> very carefully. I have to paint black along the bottom portion of this chest. This area here, I'm gonna freshen up the wood and then the top part will be black as well. And then the very top part of this antique carpenter's toolbox will be sanded and stained. So there's a lot of details I'm gonna be putting into this piece, but one of my biggest challenges was trying to figure out how I can shine up this brass without taking it off the box and doing damage not only to the brass or and, and the box. So I was looking for a way to shine it up while it was still on this box and I think I just did it. You guys, that concludes this tutorial on how to use that new polishing compound that I came across. It's called Flitz. I'm going to put a link uh, below the video title here. There's a description paragraph and I'll put the direct link if you wanna order some from Amazon. I am totally impressed with this stuff and I'm kicking myself that I didn't know that it existed beforehand. So if you wanna take polishing your antique and vintage hardware up a notch, I would totally recommend this product. You saw the results over there on that antique carpenter's toolbox. Stay tuned, you will see the final look of that piece. That's a custom order. I'll be posting it on my Instagram and I gave you the details where you could find that at the beginning of this video. This is one of our chihuahuas, this is Bacon. He was a puppy. <laughs> he was very little uh, when we got him last October. He just turned a year old a day ago, a couple days ago, right? Yeah, a couple days ago. And he has now surpassed our other Chihuahua Biscuit. Biscuit's only five pounds. Bacon is topping off at probably 11 pounds here. He's, he's a big boy. So you um, definitely are becoming like a little side of Bacon. Yeah. We love him. He's just a little chunk of monk. He's very sweet. And I usually bring Biscuit down here to do my sign off. Well, tonight I'm going to bring Bacon, right? All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'm happy to answer them. Oh, and before I forget, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna tell y'all, I'm wearing glasses when I did this with the Dremel. You should wear safety glasses. That compound does spit a little bit and I would definitely wear work clothes or something you're not afraid of getting just a little bit of that stuff because when that Dremel starts going, it does kind of spit that paste everywhere. So definitely wear safety glasses when doing this and operating a Dremel. I should have said that at the beginning, but Bacon, you're distracting me. You're just so cute. Okay, let's say toodaloo. You ready? Toodaloo, you guys, bye.